Round 21, where we the Pies made it 11 wins in a row on Friday night, beating the Demons 96 to 89. The Ds, they led by 20 points or so throughout the match. Pies kept fighting back, and they just get over the line yet again. On Saturday, the Hawks beat the Suns 70 to 63 up in Tassie. The Suns fought well late and uh, were really good with their contested possessions but they couldn't get the job done. Then we had the Giants beating the Bombers 96 to 69. Uh, some really nice football by the Giants, completely the opposite by the Bombers. They were flat as a pancake. There was a lack of energy, lack of effort, really disappointing. The Doggies, they lost to the Dockers 78 to 95. Frio bounced back in style, a desperate win by them to stay in that top eight and pretty much lock their final spot in. I would say the Dogs, they're struggling, their finals hopes fading away. A few chances in the fourth quarter, but not good enough. Lukey Ryan had a big game for the Dockers, certainly got his team over the line. The Cats, they're just too good at the moment. They beat the Saints 110 to 65. That second half by the Cats was absolutely clinical. They scored nine goals in the second half compared to the Saints three goals in the last quarter. Really good by the Cats there. On the home turf, Port Adelaide, they lost to the Tigers 71 to 109. Huge win by the Tigers. They're in the top eight. Tom Lynch, Shy Bolton had four goals each and a nice win by the Tigers on the road. Sunday, the Roos lost to the Swans 88 to 126. Really surprised that the Roos scored 88 points. Uh, a few mistakes here and there. And uh, the Swans absolutely slaughtered North on the turnovers. Uh, so the Swans, I would say, a comfortable win there. At times, though, the Roos made it really close, which is interesting. The Lions, they beat the Blues 114 to 81. But boy, oh boy, those Lions nearly blew it, that's for sure. The Blues scored eight goals in the last quarter. A huge fight by them. Uh, but the Lions wrapped it up with a couple goals here and there. And that's all she wrote. At the Gabba, the Blues, they're in seventh spot. They are struggling. They're slowly just dropping down the ladder. And... To see them at the start of the season start so well, be in the top four, and now they're just dropping, 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 and there's a chance that they will fall out of the eight and not make finals. Patrick Cripps, he's been served a two-game ban due to a, a bump on Calamar Chi. A bit of controversy during the week, um, you know, that he was going for the football. He had eyes on the football. Personally, seeing him turn that shoulder, make the contact, I would say that's worthy of one or two games and they've served him a two game ban. So without him, um, likely for the last two games, if that um, is set in stone because the Blues are appealing, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the Blues, I guess, um, bounce back on the winners list, how the Blues get those wins and how the Blues kind of um, Lock their spot in finals. How much do they want it? That's the real question. The Eagles, they lost to the Crows 88 to 102. Or it might have been 86 to 102. I'm not sure. But um, this game of football, Crows, they won um, in Rory Laird's 200th game. So a nice win by them. Josh Kennedy, in his farewell game, he put on an absolute masterclass. Eight goals for JK. What a career he's had. Those iconic stutter steps. Just to see Josh Kennedy take the marks, go back, do that stutter step, knock it straight through the big sticks. Um, so many memories come from those stutter steps and so many goals, so many, um, you know, fantastic moments. And he certainly left a huge mark on our footy world, especially up in the West. Uh, what a career by JK. And I wanted to say to all the players who have retired recently, a few off the top of my head, Josh Kennedy from the Eagles, Josh Kennedy from the Swans, Stevie Motlop, um, who else was there? Ben McAvoy, Kane Lambert, and uh, a couple others here and there. All the best to those players in the future. And um, thanks for everything you've done for our game of football. Folks, you know what time it is. It's time for Isaac's GMP of the round. Those blue baggers, I know they lost, but Corey Durden certainly had one for the highlight reel. Deep in the pocket, on the boundary line, he kept it in, and the snap was 
perfection. Corey Durden, take a bow. He made the impossible possible. Speaking of one for the highlight reels, another one for those blues, my mark of the round, Jesse Motlop, running forward, eyes on the footy, little glance in front of him, gets a little bit of elevation off one of the Lions players, and the ball just fell straight into his lap, straight into the bread basket. Nice grab there by Jesse my player of the round goes to the milestone man to wrap up round 21. Rory Laird, 200th game. He put on a fantastic show. Two goals, 36 disposals, five tackles, 10 clearances, six inside 50s, 484 metres gain. He is such a fantastic player, such a leader, such an experienced player around the football. And uh, he's got that um, mateship about him, that's for sure. Moving the ball around, having that running game and always being around the pill. Well done to Rory Laird on a fantastic 200th game. Great to see the Crows get the win for him. Folks, that's round 21, round 22. Boy, oh boy, what a round this is going to be. Friday night, the Saints, Lions, Marvel Stadium. The Saints, they need the win to keep their finals alive. The Lions, well, I've got them by 17 points. I think they can get the job done in Melbourne. Last time they were in Melbourne, well, at the MCG the other round against those Tigers, they blew a huge lead. Will it happen again? We'll have to wait and see. As always, you got to love footy. If you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.